Welcome to One Minute Tennis Lessons with the Tennis Mentor. In this video, I'm gonna show you what you should do as a doubles pair after a switch. Generally, I see lots of club players using the switch well, but not really knowing where to move to once it's done. And here's what you should do. Let's say you're up at the net and you get lobbed. Your partner has come across to cover the lob and one of you is called switch so that you can move across to cover their side of the court. What I see lots of players doing is standing in their normal volleying position, which is allowing the two baseliners to have a very easy, comfortable rally down the line. As the volleyer, what you should really do is stay tight to that center line. What this does is it makes a much smaller gap for the baseliner at the other end. They're not gonna be able to pass you because you've got it covered and it will allow you to intercept and finish the point, either hitting it towards the volleyer here or into the open court. So after a switch, as the volleyer, stay tight to the middle to apply more pressure to your opponents and to give yourself more opportunity to get back involved in the point. Give that a go and let me know how you get on. 